Hello, boys and girls. Kids, today we have a new book. It's called The Fox Went Out on a Chilly Night. This book is illustrated by Peter Spire. It doesn't have an author because the words to this book are an old song. So Mr. Spire took the words to the old song and he drew the pictures he thought should go along with the words in the song. And he did such a good job in 1961 that he won a Caldecott honor. And when you see that on a book, it means the pictures are outstanding, so beautiful that they've won an award. The interesting thing about this book is when it was originally published in 1961, half of the pages were in black and white. But in 2013, so not that long ago, the publishers asked if they could go back through Mr. Spire, he's still alive, and ask if he could make all the pages color. And so that's what he did. So this is the newer version of the old book of the fox who went out on a chilly night. So you can see the moon. And there's the fox. And we're going to see what adventures he got himself into when he was out on the chilly night. Now, when Mr. Spire went to the city of Newfane, Vermont, all of these things he saw, and then he drew them. So this book is very detailed. Things like trees and countrysides and rocks and we've got pumpkins down here. It takes place in the fall. We've got a plow and churches and barns. And wow, there's a lot to look at. So I'm gonna sing it slow. So you have a chance to really see all the beautiful pictures. So it starts here. The fox went out on a chilly night and he prayed the moon to give him light for he'd Many a mile to go that night before he reached the town, oh, town, oh. Oh, he'd many a mile to go that night before he reached the town, oh. He ran till he came to the farmer's bin where the ducks and the geese were kept penned in. Oh, a couple of you will grease my chin before I leave this town, oh, town, oh. Oh, a couple of you will grease my chin before I leave this town, oh. Woo, the geese look shocked. First he caught the gray goose by the neck. Then he swung a duck across his back. And he didn't mind the quack, quack, quack or their legs all dangling down, oh, down, oh. And he didn't mind the quack, 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 or their legs all dangling down, oh. Then old Mother Giggle Gaggle jumped out of bed. Out of the window she popped her head, crying, John, John, a gray goose is dead, and the fox is in the town, oh, town, oh crying, John, John, a gray goose is gone, and the fox is in the town, oh. Then Johnny ran to the top of a hill, and he blew his horn, both loud and shrill. Then the fox, he said, oh, I better go with my kill, or they'll soon be on my tail, oh, tail, oh. Oh, I'd better go on with my kill, or they'll soon be on my tail, oh. He ran till he came to his nice warm den. There the little ones, eight, nine, ten, said in, Daddy, Daddy, you better go there again. It must be a wonderful town, oh, town, oh. They said, Daddy, better go back again, because it must be a wonderful town, oh. Then the fox and his wife, without any strife, cut up the goose with a fork and a knife. Then they never had such a dinner in their life, and the little one chewed on the bones, oh, bones, oh. 
saying. They never had such a feast in their life, and the little one chewed on the bones, oh. And at the very end of the book, it actually has the music for the song. And then it shows you the verses all on one page, in case you don't want to look at the wonderful pictures. And it has a note from the artist, Peter Schweier, who wrote, who drew the book using the numbers. So let's go back and just take a look at the pictures, the beautiful pictures that won an award. The fox went out on a chilly night. So here he is, chilly night. There's the moon. There's his little house, the foxes. There they live inside their little house underground. Many miles to go that night. Look at how far he's traveling all through the night looking for his food. See right here, they've got the buckets next to the tree. Oh, up in Vermont, they have maple trees where they gather maple for their pancakes. And he crossed, he had many miles to go that night across the bridge before he reached the town. Look at all the haystacks in the back. He ran till he came to the farmer's bin. He passes the cemetery and the church steeple and the place where the ducks and the geese were kept. And so he thinks, a couple of you will grease my chin. You know what this is? You turn it and you sharpen your knives on this whetstone. So there's wood, there's the cows, and he's gonna go into where the animals are kept. A couple of you will grease my chin. Oh, the geese look shocked and look, he's licking his lips. Looking at a delicious goose. Wow, the geese are flying everywhere. Everybody's trying to get away. He's got a duck across his back and he's grabbed the gray goose. There are feathers flying. So he's got the gray goose and the duck and he didn't even mind the quack, 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 and the legs all dangling down. So he's running past the pumpkins, running past the houses, and they're making a lot of noise. And he runs past the statue and the cannon and all the stores, the general store, Mills Falls and the houses. And there's, the, there's the church with the tall steeple. Uh-oh, he made such a noise, the goose was squawking that it woke up Mrs. Giggle Gaggle. She jumped out of bed. Uh-oh, she looked out the window and she saw her gray goose leaving. She said, huh, get up, get up, gray goose is gone. And the fox is in the town. So he quickly put on his clothes and ran out the door and up the hill, and look, he blew his horn. He blew his horn both loud and shrill, woke the cows up. The fox said, I better hurry up and go, or they're gonna be on my tail. So he still got his goose, still running, still got his goose past the barns. The fox said, I better go on with my kill, or they'll soon be on my tail. They're running through a tobacco barn where the tobacco is hung up to dry. He came till he, he ran till he came to his nice warm den. See, he opened the door and then the den is where they live inside underground. The little ones, eight, nine, ten. Oh, that means there's 10 little foxes inside. They said, daddy, you better go there again. It must be a wonderful town. You better go back again, Daddy. That must be a wonderful town. Look at all the little baby foxes. And the fox and his wife, without any strife, oh, they have a big goose for dinner. They cut up the goose with a fork and a knife, and the little ones chewed on the bones, oh. They said they never had such a feast in their life, and the little ones chewed on the bones. And look, 
They had to take out the garbage and they all went back to bed. So that's our story for today. The fox went out on a chilly night. So I will see you next time. Goodbye, boys and girls. Say goodbye to Miss Murray. Goodbye, Miss Murray. Bye, friends.